What is the concept of a nerd's rope? And then I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> anyway, Noodle would never fit in this bag. <laughs> right in your face? Ah. Get it together. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan. This is Noodle. This, he's here. I promise he's here. Nudie, Nudie. I'm not gonna bother him, we'll see him later. This week, we are going to be investigating a box that was curated by Bianca Jade, who is the founder of Mizfit, which is a website you can go to that essentially is a full lifestyle brand. So Bianca essentially worked a job for a really long time, and then she fell in love with the gym. She fell in love with everything about the gym, with the exercise that you get to do, the culture there, everything, the, the mindset that she got into when she would go. So she decided, you know what, this is what my life needs to be and I need to launch this brand. So you can go to her website, you can find everything from clothes to following her blog, anything you want that's related to fitness. Um, and inspiration she's provided on her website. It's so nice to be able to investigate something like this because she and I are so different because she went to the gym and she fell in love with it. I go to the gym and I'm like, I could be so many other places right now. The one day I went to sign up for my gym membership, I signed up for it, did not go to the gym, but then did go to the McDonald's next door <laughs> to get a breakfast sandwich. And then I walked by the gym and they saw me. And it's okay, it's a Planet Fitness, so they give you pizza like everyone's okay there. I carry a 25 pound pug up four flights of stairs multiple times a day, so there's my exercise. Bianca, however, took it to the next level. And I'm so excited to see what she curated in here because maybe some of it will get me excited about exercising. What do we got? Oh, okay, so right off the bat, this is so great, I love these. These are a nerd's rope, which I haven't had in years. I think these were the kind of, kind of candy that even my mom was like, do not do that, do not touch these. But I actually love nerds. I don't know what the rope portion is, but it's like a gummy, it's like a long kind of gummy, crunchy candy that's super sugary and like right in your face and really like wakes you up. I think if you're someone who works really uh, actively in fitness, you can definitely be a little more flexible with the things that you eat. Like for example, before we filmed this, I had a really nice fried chicken sandwich and some pulled pork barbecue fries from a Thai restaurant nearby. And I didn't go to the gym. So I really didn't deserve that, but I did it anyway. But if I went to the gym, I would absolutely deserve some nerd's rope. So I'm thinking that these are probably just her favorite candy and she just may have a sweet tooth and she should treat herself. She deserves it. She works hard and you deserve it. You work hard, you deserve it. I work hard and I deserve it. Okay, the next thing we've got, oh easy, a magnesium supplement. So this is a vegetarian magnesium supplement and I bet that she just takes, I don't know if this is specifically, obviously this is specifically magnesium. I don't know if this signifies that she just takes supplements. She has like a dietary supplement regimen that she takes, but magnesium is a very important something or other to put into your body. Just like uh, Noodle is on a glucosamine and a turmeric supplement because they help with his joint inflammation. So I'm not entirely sure what magnesium does, but I do know that it's super important. So I like to know that she obviously takes care of her body in more ways than one, right? She's not just exercising, she's caring about, <laughs> right? After you take a couple of <laughs> nerds ropes, maybe you need to boost your metabolism a little bit or something. Um, it helps with muscle and nerve function, regulating blood pressure, and supporting the immune system. Oh, amazing, so it does everything. So it's a miracle pill. This will keep you alive. The next item we've got is, ooh, a meteor mic. Oh, so a stand microphone. So this is for her vlogging. So Bianca is a very active and popular uh, vlogger, and I'm sure that this is a this is one of the microphones or you know one of the microphones that she might use for her vlog. So it hooks right up into your laptop, and it creates some really really condensed and um, clear sound. Um, they're super helpful to have, even especially now for Zoom calls. Whether you're doing a vlog or you're talking to people, it's so nice to know what the sound is going to be. This is a super smart item. I totally get why this is here. The next item we've got in the Bianca J box is this. Wagware. Oh, it's a dog bag. It's a bag to put your little dog, to travel with your little angel dog. Noodle would never fit in this bag. I would try to shove him in this, but as you can see, 
but it's got a little opening in the front. A little angel head to stick out of. And I don't know if she's got like, a, she must have a small dog of some kind that she travels with. Um, you can bring, this is this is, works for the airport. You can bring this on a plane. You can bring this on the subway, on a train, anywhere that you need to travel with a with an animal. Oh God, I love that this is in here. This is so smart. I love dog people. Bianca, you are, you. <laughs> A chihuahua, oh yeah, a little chihuahua, absolutely. I have the idea of her having a chihuahua after she has a nerd's rope makes me so at her house. They must be bonkers. Again, this is a fabulous, fabulous product for traveling with a dog. If Noodle were, you know, we weren't built like a refrigerator, I'd find him something like this, but he's got his own bag that he loves. Okay, the next thing we've got, I've got a pair of these. I don't use them, but I got them. I bought them and left them at your mom's house because I don't use them. Resistance bands. So these are, Perfect for working out uh, from home or remote. Obviously you can have these at the gym too, but these are great if you're just like home and you're, you know, filming a show or something at your Tuscan kitchen table. Oh, I deserve a nerd's rope. They're also really great because you can use them for different strengths, right? It's like if you've got, you know, a 35 pound weight, you've got to be able to either, you have to be able to lift that or you're, you're really going to hurt yourself. With resistance bands, you can kind of uh, really adjust the, the tension that um, is provided by these uh, for a more customized workout. Um, oh, I love it. Okay, so the next item, the final item we've got in the Bianca Jade box is... Oh, okay, I get it. So this is something that you use to have to do one of those like speed skating exercises where you work your quads and you have like one foot go out really far and then you swing it back in. You put your weight down on top of these and then you can move around. You can move like your arms forward and back. It's like a full body workout without any kind of equipment or tension ropes. And you got this. So I think this is this is really great. Looks like this is probably really good for like cool downs. I'm sure this is great for like stretching and all that kind of stuff. As someone who doesn't exercise, I don't, I didn't know what these were. And now I sure do. And there's a lot of stuff from these boxes I like to keep. And this isn't one of them. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, it's fabulous. Um, okay, that is the Bianca Jade box. Oh my God, I forgot about this perfect little bag. So that's the Bianca Jade box. So I always get so excited when we get to see these tools that these entrepreneurs put together because I learn about their businesses, obviously through their websites and through little bios they send us. But it means so much when you see the actual things that they take with them or the actual tools they have. Like I'm now picturing this, <laughs> this badass woman who, you know, go, exercises like a machine is walking around town with her little chihuahua and is recording and creating content for people. Like this is a woman who I'm so grateful that we got to highlight and I'm so grateful she took the time to curate this box for us because she's doing, she really is just living by her own rules. She decided that she didn't want to do what she wanted to do anymore. She fell in love with fitness and she went after it. And you can't, <laughs> you can't argue with that, right? That's genius. That alone is genius. Just to have the 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 confidence and the knowledge that that's something that you know you want to do and you're going to support yourself through it is remarkable and i'm going to toast to you because i have to finish this glass of wine if you liked uh this video and you want to see more like it please like Ooh. chris what did you do Chris, Chris was being mean. Chris was doing some horrible things. He started to slowly strip. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to, <laughs> to ring the bell and you can see more amazing content like this, another Tools of Trade video or a School of Hustle video or one of our other series that we uh, create. Oh no, this, I always give a tip. I'm giving tips now. I haven't done them for the past two, but I have a tip that I can give. This is my tip. Uh, if you ever are worried about the way your life is heading, you can fix it. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. The Chris, I'm sorry. He just fell over. He just fell over. Oh my God. He hit his head. Oh my God. He hit his head. No, oh my God. He's fine. He's standing up. He wasn't <laughs> that blown away by what I said. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And we will be so excited to see you here next time.